Are you stressed out tonight? How's things going for you? I say that because there's uh, something on our minds these days that is causing a lot of stress. Now that could be many things. Could be work, could be home, could be personal life, could be a relationship, maybe with a, a son or a daughter or maybe even a, a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Uh, the virus, the worries and concerns. Are you filled with stress tonight? Let me try to help you from God's Word if I could. Can I just take a few minutes and try to help you with some practical points on this thing of stress? If you would, take a Bible, maybe not now or later, uh, at some point, take a Bible to Isaiah chapter 26. I want you to see verses 3 and 4. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. He promises to keep us in perfect peace. And not only that, but it says Jehovah is everlasting strength. God is perfect peace. And so I want to go through the Bible and try to help you real quick with a few points. First, I want you to know that in the book of Isaiah here in chapter 3, there's a phrase that I want you to pay attention to. In Isaiah, excuse me, not chapter 3, chapter 26 and verse 3, I want you to pay attention to this phrase. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. The Bible tells us that if we are in Christ, if we are in God, he will keep us in perfect peace. That's the answer to our stress right there. All the stress that you have going on around you, wouldn't it be nice to give it to somebody else? Wouldn't it be nice to have somebody bigger and stronger than you are take on the responsibility and the burden that we don't want to carry? That's what Christ did for us on the cross. He took a burden that you and I couldn't carry, and he carried it. Well, he'd do the same thing with your stress. And I'm going to give you some practical points that can help you with that. Perfect peace is literally this. Peace in peace. When you are in Christ, when you are in God, you have peace inside of peace. Peace is a mature, complete peace. It is an inward peace, an outward peace, a peace with God. It's a peace of conscience. It's a peace at all times. It's a peace under all events, regardless of circumstances or consequences. God's own peace, the peace which God's own Son Christ has, is the same peace that He gives you and I. You are an heir with Christ. And so in Christ, He will give you perfect peace. God gives those who trust Him His own peace. It's a result of inward harmony. In Him is in personal peace. You're in His personal peace. Did it ever occur to you that nothing has ever occurred to God? God knew what your day would hold. God put it in a bow. He put it all in a little package with a bow on it, and He knew exactly what you'd be facing. And God is fully aware of all the things going on around you. You got to trust him. You got to call on him. And the Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace. You will have his peace because you have somebody handling it that is able to handle it. He's so capable. He is so able to take your stress and remove it forever. I give you an illustration. When there's a little child at home and they're running scared, where do they go? Well, they can go to one of a couple places. They can hide or they can run to mommy or daddy or a loved one. And nine times out of ten, if mommy or daddy or a loved one are home, they run to that person that can help calm them, that can help ease their concerns and their fears. And what is that? Knowing that somebody else can take care of something that they cannot. And that stress you're facing today, I ask you to give it to somebody that can take care of it when you cannot. I don't want to have to face it. Even if I could bear it, I don't want to. And God says he'll bear it for me. He'll keep me in perfect peace. God's peace attends on his righteousness and love. Nothing can disturb the peace of him who always doeth right. God's always right. So nothing can disturb God's peace because he's always right. And if I'm in him, I'm in his peace. And so if he's always right, if he always gets the equation right, I'll always be right. And so I trust him. I'm in his perfect peace. Peace and righteousness go hand in hand. They're twin sisters. You know one sister can't go another place without the other sister if they're twins. Peace and righteousness are the same. 
You've made some mistakes, friend. You've done some things wrong that God calls sin, and so have I. But the peace is not found in me. It's found in Him. You see, the righteousness of me is covered because it's not righteous at all by the blood of Christ. God covers me with the blood of Jesus. And so I can be in peace because I'm in Christ's righteousness. I'm not relying on my righteousness. And so I want to give you a couple practical points about your peace today, about the stress in which you're handling. I want you to see in Psalm 112 and verses 6 through 8. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. See how there uh, that shall not be moved and the righteous in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid. There's no reason to be afraid, friend, when you've got somebody bigger and stronger than you are handling it all. But you do got to go in him. So the first point into being in perfect peace, into how to handle your stress, the first point is this. You've got to be in Christ. Not just knowing who Christ is, not just knowing that he exists, you've got to be in him, friend. You have to trust him, call on him, rely on him, lean upon him, be sustained in him. And how do I get rid of my stress? I give it to Christ. How do I give it to Christ? I trust in him, in him alone. And so that's the first point. Trust God by trusting Christ. You need salvation first. If you go to our website, nlbcofcalvert.com, the letter N, the letter L, the letter B, the letter C, of Calvert.com, you'll find there the plan of salvation, how to know you're saved, how to know that you're going to heaven when you die. You need to check it out. If you don't know Christ is your Savior today, you need to get it settled. And you can go to that webpage and get it settled. That being said, trust in Christ. Trust God by trusting Christ. Next, know that God does the keeping. The, the verse says, Isaiah 26, 3, that will keep him in perfect peace. God does the keeping. God does the maintaining. All you got to do is ask. And next, stay in God. The Bible says that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So who will he keep in perfect peace? The one whose mind is stayed on thee. See, friend, we got too many things going on. You're worried about work and the kids and the relationship and the bills and the money and all that good stuff and the car insurance and the ticket you got last week. You're worried about all of it. But the Bible says whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusteth in thee. Trust Christ. Stay in him. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Trust God by trusting Christ. God does the keeping and stay in God. The Bible says in Psalm 119, 165, Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. You know, I've been a lot of places. I've done a lot of things. But can I tell you tonight my greatest accomplishment of my life? The greatest accomplishment of my life was not marrying a beautiful woman. The greatest accomplishment of my life was not having three wonderful kids. The greatest accomplishment in my life is not becoming pastor of this church. It's not becoming some, uh, some, some well-known, wealthy uh, uh, entrepreneur in some way, shape, or form. I've never accomplished anything greater than this right here. You know what my greatest accomplishment's ever been? This right here. My greatest accomplishment was convincing myself I was nothing, and he is everything. That's the greatest accomplishment I've ever had in my life. See, friend, we think we're worth something. God, Bible tells us we're filthy rags. We think that we're good to somebody. No, 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 no. The only goodness I have is via Jesus Christ. There's nothing I have to offer you. There's no education I have. There's no bank account I have. There's no set of wardrobe that I have. There's no home in which I live in. There's nothing I can offer you better than Christ. And so my greatest accomplishment was the day that I realized I was nothing and he is everything. And so what's the answer to your stress tonight? What's the answer to your worries today? Christ. Christ. He is perfect peace, complete peace, mature peace, finished peace. So you take your, your, your stress, you take your anxiety, you take all that you're dealing with and you lay it at the feet of Christ. Not because you're worth it, because he is. Give it to him tonight. How do you handle stress? Trust God by trusting Christ. How do you handle stress? Realize God does the keeping. How do I handle stress? Understand that staying in God is the answer. Stayed on thee. 
Read it, Isaiah 26, verses 3 and 4. Read it, Psalm 112, verses 6 through 8. Read it, Psalm 119, 165. Go to those places tonight. See it in your Bible. Stay in Him. Thank you for joining. Until next time, this has been Practical Points.